Up next on the Day Beer Review, we're going to be looking at KBS's Barrel Aged Stout, and this is the Cinnamon, Vanilla, and Cocoa variant, and it comes in at 12% ABV. Check it out. Hi everybody, it's Rich, and welcome to the End of the Day Beer Review, and today we are looking at Founders, uh, highly acclaimed KBS, and this is a fl uh, flavored stout with cinnamon, vanilla, and cocoa. It says an imperial stout with coffee, cinnamon, vanilla extract, and uh, cocoa nibs aged in oak bourbon barrels. So uh, this one sounds right up my alley. Uh, it also comes in at 12% ABV, which means it is a beast as far as alcohol content, which I'm excited about. Um, Oh, a lot of vanilla there. Okay. Right off the top, it's pouring a very dark brown, uh, almost chestnut color. Um, and the bar is just filled with the aroma of this. You know, I've had mixed feelings about KBS. Um, you know, because I always compare the bourbon age stuff to, to Goose Island. And, uh, you know, the Goose Island stouts to me are just like the gold standard of bourbon, uh, of barrel aged um, beers. But KBS, I've either been hit or miss. Some of them have been really good, and some of them have been really mediocre. Um, from the aroma that's just filling the bar, I haven't even put my nose into the glass. This one might be, has, well, it has potential to be fantastic. Wow, okay, so a lot of vanilla right on the front end there. Tempered with a little bit of cinnamon. Uh, quite frankly, this this smells a lot like one of those uh, Cinnabons, um, you know, with the icing on top. So it actually smells really good. Yeah, that smells really good. Um, mostly cinnamon, mostly vanilla. I'm getting just a hint of that oak from the barrel, but not really a lot of it. So with that, let's give it a taste. Holy crap, this is a Cinnabon in a glass. That's, that's what this is. Um, front end, you have sort of a, a very, very good cinnamon flavor to it. Um, as it continues and as you swallow it, uh, the vanilla sort of bursts on the back end of this. What I'm not getting is a whole lot of oak. I'm not getting a lot of, a lot of that barrel in here. This is like a very nice pastry stout. So good flavor to it. Very nice to drink. Less sweet than I thought it would be. I thought there would be a certain sweetness to the cinnamon, but quite honestly, this cinnamon sort of tastes like uh, the cinnamon you shave off a, a cinnamon stick. So it's legitimately, it tastes like cinnamon and it doesn't taste like cinnamon sugar. So this is really, really nice. Um, and that cinnamon flavor just coats your mouth and stays there. Um, as far as the alcohol content, this is a bit of a beast. This comes in at 12%. The carbonation is a little bit heavier than I would have liked. And quite frankly, than what I would have expected from 12% ABV. Um, so the carbonation, it's not so much, ro you know, like it's not rolling in carbonation, but you can see the head has lasted. It stays there. It's got some good legs and some good lacing on that glass. Um, but it is, it's, it's sort of an unsweetened cinnamon flavor. And as it goes down, you get this nice vanilla sort of burst on the back of your tongue. To me, this is very much like tasting a, a Cinnabon, uh, you know, cinnamon roll. Um, very nice, but it's a little less sweet than I expected it to be. So I'm really, really, um, I have to say, I really enjoy this one. This is, this is quite nice. Um, it's the type of beer that you can sit back and enjoy on a really cold night. And I feel like that's the type of beer this is. This is sort of a cold night beer that you can enjoy, um, you know, especially as the winter comes up. I got, or if not a cold night beer, then like a holiday beer. Like this could definitely be a good like Christmas beer or New Year's Eve beer. Uh, and I understand why people sell her these. This is definitely something that I would be interested. And, and this is not a new one. This was actually, um, this is bottled on 9 to 21. So this has been in the fridge for 
just about two years. Um, uh, I wonder what the fresh tastes like. I might actually have to go to Total Wines and check that out. This video is not, by the way, sponsored by Total Wines. I have no affiliation with them other than the fact that they're good to pick up a bunch of different stuff quickly when you're looking for different beers to taste. Um, so this is very nice. If you're looking for a nice sort of pastry stout in a small bottle that you don't have to share with people because you don't because this is such a small bottle, um, I can say I highly recommend Founders... Um, KBS Cinnamon Vanilla Variant. This this is outstanding. Um, if it's available by you, I would pick it up. I have no idea what the price point is on it. In fact, I sort of wonder if I can find out what the price point is right now, but no, I don't see it even being offered. Um, yeah, I don't even see it online as far as something that I can quickly look up. Um, but at 12%, I got to figure this is like, you know, between eight and $12 a bottle. Um, and at eight or $12 a bottle, it's worth picking one up to try it out. It's, it's actually worth picking up too, because um, I'd really like to see how this thing ages. But this is a, a beautiful beer, very nice. And if you're into the pastry stouts, which I am, uh, especially the high ABV pastry stouts, I would definitely check this out. Anyway, folks, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, uh, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button, uh, subscribe, maybe throw a comment or two in there, and I will see you next time on End of the Day Beer Review. I'm going to sit back, and I am definitely going to enjoy this because this is an outstanding beer. Cheers.